in this video we're going to continue the previous model by creating a drawing for it. To get started make sure your part is open and we'll go to new drawing. It should create a sheet already for you. You can right click the sheet and select edit sheet. We could give a name to the sheet. We want this to be a B-sized sheet, and we'll keep our landscape and title block orientation. Click OK. You notice there's an ANSI large field text. We're going to get rid of that. And now we have a blank sheet. We need to insert a new title block. So go to Drawing Resources, Title Blocks, and we're going to click ANSI A. By double clicking it should appear right into your sheet and you can see right now it has. Now that we've set up the sheet we're going to create a base view. Select base view and we're going to select the top view with hidden lines. So under the master I'm going to select top I'll make sure my scale is one to one and I'll hit OK. If your view doesn't change the correct way, you can always double click your view and adjust it. And that should orient the part in the correct fashion. I'll hit OK. You get your four corners, you can move your view as needed. We're not going to use the projected view since that creates standard views like a top, a front, a side, isometric. We need to create an auxiliary view from the angle that we've created so that we can see the face of this straight on. So click auxiliary and it's asking us to select a view. So we'll select the base view to start and then it wants a, an edge for it to come off of. We're going to just leave it as A and 1 to 1, and it should be the hidden line as well. And then we're just going to click that front edge of the view. So click that line, and you should get that auxiliary view off of this part. You'll need to click again, and you should have placed your auxiliary view. We're going to do one more base view so that we get a really nice isometric view. So select base view and for the master view type isometric and you can hit the home on the view cube here and I'm going to select hidden line as well. I'll keep this at a one to one scale. I'm going to move my object over into this far right corner just to get it out of the way for now. We're going to get our dimensions from the model. So the fastest way to do that is to drop over to the annotate tab and we can click a view and retrieve model annotation. So you can click on this view here and retrieve model annotations. Where it says select features we're going to select Arts, so we get everything off of that part and we should get all of the dimensions we need. I'll hit OK and feel free to adjust some of these and if this view is in the way you can move it out of the way. Some of these dimensions are going to be fairly tricky. We have quite a few dimensions that we probably don't need, but as we continue, just to make sure, we can see that's pretty cluttered. So let's click this part, right click, and we can select Edit View. Here we can just change our scale, and let's change it three to two, and we'll hit OK. That enlarges our part, and in turn, spreads out some of the dimensions since our part is a little bit bigger. I can move my views 
and notice how the auxiliary view has also changed in scale. But the isometric has not because it's a separate base view. We're going to retrieve the dimensions from the auxiliary view and make sure our part looks pretty accurate. We'll do the same thing, click on the view and retrieve model annotations. We'll select parts and we'll hit OK. We don't need all of the dimensions again, but let's see what dimensions we get and see if we need to add any ourselves. Feel free to adjust different dimensions as needed. I'm going to add using a dimension tool, a distance from here to the center, and the width. Should be able to line it up. If you have trouble with some of the annotations, you can right click, hit options, and you've got different ways to set up your leaders right away. You could uncheck arrowheads inside and that'll put your dimensions in between, which for these quarter inch looks a little bit cleaner. Feel free to fix your annotation so everything looks appropriate. I'm not gonna finish setting everything up, but you shouldn't have any redundant annotations. We're gonna add some center marks and center lines so in the top view, we're going to add them to all of the holes. So we can select center mark, and we'll select all of these outer holes and that top hole. We're also going to select the center line bisector right here. And We'll scroll down to our auxiliary view and we'll put a center line for these drilled holes to match the center lines we just created. So now that center mark lines up with this center line bisector. It would also be wise to add a center mark on that hole there. Uh, the last thing we're going to do to set this up is look at the title block and also focus on some eye properties. I'll zoom down into the title block here and in the browser window just right click field text and click eye properties. You click the eye properties tab and go to summary. Here's where we can enter some of our parameters. And for status, we can say science state, we can add initials, checked by date, we'll hit apply and see how those have populated already into our property fields. If we need to add any other things, we can throw them right in. Let's hit OK and our title block is starting to fill out. We can also add a text and if we'd like a note we could say rounds and fillets are 0.25 hit OK and if we just need to move this we can our last step is to manipulate this Isometric view, we can right click, edit the view, and let's choose shaded. And for the scale, we'll bring this one up to 3, 2 as well. Now we have a shaded view, and we want to make sure that those hidden lines get removed. And edit view, we'll also click hidden lines removed and hit OK. And we have a complete drawing.
that completes our drawing for auxiliary views and practice with i properties in the title blocks. Don't forget to save.